So, stealing. Where's the example of stealing to make money? You know damn well the brake fluid ain't that dirty. You know damn well it ain't dirty. It ain't dark. You flushing it. Then on top of that, you do a half flush. You do a half flush. That's your business. That's not my business. I'm only speaking on things I see. Good day, everybody. Leak Auto Repair. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure y'all get to my Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. I be acting bad in my stories. So, I'm going to give you my five. I got a lot of reasons, but I'm going to give you five, at least five reasons why this winter going to be crazy. What you going to be up against this winter? What you got to face this winter? What you got to deal with this winter? Your expectations for this winter. So, let's just jump straight into it. First of all, I don't even appreciate y'all ninjas not telling me how I got some white stuff paused. Because I know how ninjas in New York, ninjas in Philly, everybody like to keep doing this pause stuff. Let me take that out. Pause, and I need to comb my, my, my I was going to say the S word. I'm going to say my stuff. I'm looking like Anthony Hamilton right now. So, let's jump into it. Alright, so the first one for me that I listed Holidays. We coming up against the holidays. Now, this video is going to apply for rookie technicians. You want to be a, a, a line tech. You want to be a general tech, a line tech, whatever tech, dealership tech, independent shop tech. I don't know what trans tech, exhaust tech, welding tech. I don't know your special window leak tech. They got all techs for everything. The valet tech, the technician that valets everything. But it's just, you know what I'm trying to get at, right? You just got tech for everything. So, first thing I got on my list, the holidays are bad. The holidays are bad. Why the holidays is bad? For number one, what holidays we got coming up? Thanksgiving? Ninjas is definitely not spending any money on, on Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving. They definitely investing in what they got going on at the crib. I'm just saying. Then we got what? We got Christmas coming up. You know ninjas, we like to save ahead of time before we get to the actual Christmas. So that way, it ain't as... Just, they start buying stuff early is what I'm trying to say. You can forget about hours you're going to be killing. You ain't going to be racking up no hours like that. You're not. Unless you're stealing. And we're going to talk about people stealing. Let's talk about that in a second. Now, I did say... We'll talk about stealing, right? I put here, have to steal to make money. That's what I wrote down that way. I wrote it right here. Have to steal to make money. Why do you have to steal to make money? Do I? Look at my chain. Look at this. You see it? So, I don't, for that reason, I don't get in and I, that's not me. But I'm speaking on what I see goes on. I can't tell everybody, hey, you shouldn't be stealing. Hey, I'm going to tell them. That's not my business. Your life is your life. It don't. It ain't got nothing to do with the, the almighty, the man above. When you make your decision, when you feel like, hey, I'm going to go do this. That's your reason. You chose to do it. And you had the opportunity not to do it. So let's keen in, keen in on what I stated. I see people steal all the time. I even got service writers trying to get me to steal or just just say it's this to say it's that or i'm just going to sell them this so i'm just going to overcharge them this amount of hours i'm going to do x y and z service writers are sharks they don't care they only tell what you told them and if it ain't good enough they're going to put more lies on that damn story so they can get money in for the shop or whatever so stealing where's the example of stealing to make money you know damn well the brake fluid ain't that dirty. You know damn well it ain't dirty. It ain't dark. You flushing it. Then on top of that, you do a half flush. You do a half flush, that's your business. That's not my business. I'm only speaking on things I see. Just suck it out the reservoir. Keep it moving. Don't crack the bleeders or nothing. Keep it moving. Just suck it out the reservoir. Put new fluid. So that's how your brake flushes get done to those who want to know. Do I tell you to take your car to the dealership? They gonna skip something. Tire rotation. The tires are even. When for me, if I somebody come in and they got tires at a six, seven, or eight, 
in the front, eight in the rear. If it's even and even, I'll rotate it. If it's eight in the front, seven in the air, seven in the rear, I'm not, I'm not recommending it. Over exaggerating on oil leaks. So you see an area like an oil pan, trans pan, valve cover, um, whatever, mainly oil based. Let's just talk about engine oil only or trans oil. You see that it's just damp, right? We're not gonna talk about power steering fluid because this is becoming phased out where we're going electric. Unless you got an old truck like me, you're gonna do power steering fluid. But we're in the future a little bit now where they don't do power, like fluid based power steering. They do electric based power steering. So you see areas damp. You don't see no fluid leaking. You don't even see no fluid leaking down the engine. You just see that it's damp. Write your story up. Over exaggerated, exaggerated some more with the service writer, then he gonna exaggerate it even more. Then he gonna sell the job. Then the service manager in the service department is gonna be all happy. Everybody's happy at the end of the day. What I'm saying is, or replacing engine air filters, it's a little bit dirty, a little bit dirty. Unless you request me to replace the oil, you come in and say, hey, I want an air filter. I want a cabin filter. I'm gonna replace it. I don't care if it's dirty or not. I mean, you you want it replaced, I'll replace it. So that way you know it was replaced. But me, I'm not, if it's just dirty a little bit, I'm not gonna hit that red check market. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna hit the, I don't even know what I just said. I'm not gonna hit the red check mark on a multi point inspection. I'll probably hit like orange or yellow, whatever color option they got. That's what I'm, I'm trying to say. So over exaggerating repairs or selling unnecessary repairs to people, all types of flushes. They go by BG services. For some reason, oh, we give you, you collect our stickers, we give you a dollar per whatever sticker you got until you start loading up that book and you come up, you got like 50 or $200. Then they try to make you 1099 that. That goes for another conversation. But they have stuff for you to sell. Just like when you go to McDonald's, they offer you stuff. When you go to Best Buy, they offer you stuff. This is like when you buy an electronic, they offer you a protection plan for the stupidest thing. It's always a catch-22 to everything. Every, they get you in there to see what you need. It's nothing wrong with fixing your car. But I'm giving it to the mechanics point blank. What you facing this winter. Don't expect them to feel like I'm, they're going to be replacing things because you said, you said it's wrong. They're going to go by what they got ahead of them, which is holidays. They ain't thinking about their car much. Not really. Now, income tax season, that's a different season. So let's go to my third point. Having a shop full of mechanics, shop full of techs, that is very bad. That's very bad. Let me give you some equivalency. Let me give you some analogy. Let me break something. Let me make some similes and let me make some metaphors, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Let me give you a clear example, a cutthroat example. So let's just say we got a barn full of pit bulls, or let's say we got a backyard full of pit bulls, the size of this garage, right? Right? So you got like this whole pack of, damn near, you got a pack of wolves basically. But we got dogs. The wolves is a different level. I'm just giving it to you this basic level. So the wood, so the dogs is hungry, right? When it's, then you starved and you starve the dogs and they get a little, over the time, they get a little aggressive. They ain't getting what they want. And you go there, you, you, it's like 20 dogs there, right? And you went and you do like three pieces of meat out for them to eat. What you think is going to happen? And you see why I'm taking my time to respond, right? I'll give you a second. They're going to fight over the food and the shop. They're going to fight over and it's not going to be like a physical confrontation or it could be verbal, mental, could be common sense, whatever it is. You can feel the vibe and there's tension. When another tech is eating way more than other techs, I mean, for me, who cares? At the end of the day, to me, he's stealing anyway because he got to steal to make his money. Me, I'm honest. I get honest pay. That's just what it is. I'm not looking to be less and I'm not looking to be more. I just want to be right in the middle. That's just me. So, for me, you got a shop full of techs. How can hours balance? It's always going to be people not gaining hours. 
So you got somebody gaining all these type of hours, right? And you got somebody who really can't even bring no money to pay his bills, yet alone probably can't get to work. Probably don't have enough money in his bank. Probably got to borrow some money just to get to the next week. When he get to that next week, he got to pay back the old money or whatever it is he behind on just to all be behind again. Dealerships don't think about that. They just greedy. They want to get the cows in there so that way they can milk it. When the cow is dry, the cow is dry. When the cow come back again for service, we'll milk him some more. They throw shit on the wall. And some of the shit they get on a wall, it literally sticks. So, and if it don't stick, they don't care as long as something sticks to the wall. That's what I'm applying. So, that's my opinion. Shop full of text, it's not a good thing because if it's slow and you got people on flat rate, how is everybody going to eat? How is the shop a team if you got one or a few people making way more than the people who ain't? making there ain't no equivalency the pay ain't even equivalent the salary not equivalent is what i'm trying to say so all in all it's not fair period that some people get to eat and some people can't and i don't want to hear oh you gotta hustle oh you nah i got more energy than a lot of people i don't even drink coffee and you and i'm just letting you know i'm just naturally energetic and the where i come from i come from the trenches Nobody can't come to me and be like, oh, I do this faster than you and better than you. Because I will pull you, I will pull you, I will tug on your rope hard. I will give you a run for your money. I'm the one that's hungry. But I ain't desperate enough to be selling people dreams and just selling people things that is not really needed. I'm honest. I stick that way. That's just my way. How I to live like that, I'll figure it out. That's just my way. But how can you be a team? If one is leading and you got some losing. Last time I checked when people play a game in the NFL, baseball, soccer, football, whatever. Not one person won a game by himself. Kobe don't win a game by himself. MJ, LeBron. Everybody don't win by himself. You need a team to put points on the board. When, when the Lakers won a chip. When... Uh, Go to state when the chip. Did one person get a ring? Did Curry, Curry only get a ring? Did Kobe only get a ring? Did Bron only? No, the whole ninjas on the bench got a ring. What I'm trying to say is this system is only we want the dog that's that's going to work the hardest. And they go for that dog who going to really kill everybody for the meat. That's just what I'm saying. I got another one for you. Weather conditions. Weather conditions. Weather conditions. Weather conditions. We keep saying this. Weather conditions. It's brick outside. You going to come out and come get an oil change? You going to come out and get your car fixed? You going to wait? It's brick outside. Let me repeat again. You going to come out and get an oil change? You going to wait? I don't think you going to do that. So what makes you think these people's going to come out in 5, 10, 15 degree, degree weather? Now, I'm from Philly. It get brick over there like I get brick in Chicago and New York. We up north. It get cold. It get cold. When I say cold, it's brick. It could be 5 degrees in Philly. It's possible. So, don't think nobody going to come out in 5, 10, 15 degree, degree weather and think they're going to want to get their car fixed. It's going to be a hit and miss. You can hold your breath. Just make sure you intake some more air so that way you won't pass out, basically. Don't hold, don't hold your breath when you got crappy weather. Snow outside, ice, you can forget it. You can forget that shit. You can forget it. Why? You really think people going to... They barely can get outside. They ain't even shoved their property. They still got ice and snow in their car. What makes you think there's going to be a boatload of cars out there waiting for you when you arrive to work, when you try to get to work yourself? You got front wheel drive trying to get there, or rear wheel drive trying to get. Everybody don't got all wheel drive, is what I'm saying. So you struggling to get to work. What makes you think people won't come to work? It's going to be dead. So what's going to happen? You're going to sit there the whole duration. And you flat rate, you only going three, four hours, you're going to make probably you one or two PDIs or used car just to shut you up or whatever. I probably tell you to do some training or whatever. You're going to get tired. You're going to stay there like four or five o'clock. Probably six if you bored. You ain't going to make a dollar. You're not going to make nothing. You can get scrapped. So that way when you get paid the following week or bi weekly or however you set up, you're going to be like, man, leak right. I can't stand my check, man. They, 
The system is corrupt. It's broken. So I'm gonna give you a, a, a good tip. So stay level headed. It's my last tip. Why should you stay level headed? Because this is gonna you're gonna snap something. You're gonna snap in there. You're gonna snap something or somebody is what I'm saying. Y'all should have saw me years ago when I did YouTube. My mouth was loud and I cursed a lot. I, I cleaned it up real good, like PG-13 good. Most word I say is the shit word. It's, it's not a, like really a bad word to me, but I ain't gonna say the f bomb. I ain't gonna get all m f or da 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 da. That's the old league. This is a reform league. I can't talk like that. But what I can give you my honest opinion, and I learned to use words around other words is what I'm trying to say. So stay level headed. Be humble. Find something to do outside of work. Find something to just go to the gym. Find something that's gonna. Do work on a project, find something that's going to take you off of the reality Because when you go back in that job you Everybody dread trying to go up in the world I don't want to hear that If you're a happy person going to work, you excited You can't go to sleep because you can't wait to get to work You just love work like your job Hey, you get paid good Or you probably don't want nothing in life but A lot of people that don't get paid good they ain't, Don't really feel like they got that energy They don't got that umph when they get up to go to work They drag and they barely want to do it and you think people going to want their jobs after they pay their bills and realize they ain't got, damn, I got this to, to work with until I get paid? How many times you going to think that's going to work? And I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to a, a shop owner. How long do you think this system is going to work before another tech migrate? That's why mechanics go from shop to shop to shop to shop to shop to shop. Well, it's like nurses or doctors, or they could go whatever they want, the type of profession they got. They ain't trying to put up with it. They ain't finna put up with it. They gone. They gone. That's it. Think of don't think about what I just said. But don't think too hard. But anyway, stay level headed. It's gonna be cold this winter. It's gonna be brick this winter. Most of the things I did list, it's more for me to list because I could keep on complaining. But I'm not gonna keep on complaining. So I'm gonna conclude this video. I'm Leak Auto Repair. We're gonna be doing more segments like this. I'm gonna run my mouth. I'm gonna why am I running my mouth? I'm oppressed, an oppressed mechanic. I come from the field. I come from the dealership background. I get raped all day, all day long, all day long with warranty. A job could pay you straight time three hours. Warranty, you do it, you be lucky to get 0.8 one hour if you do all H on it or something. So, the game gonna cheat you. Sometimes you gotta cheat the game back. But I'm right in the middle. I'm not getting involved in anything. I stated my reasons. If you got to steal to make money, people steal from you anyway. So if you don't steal, they're gonna steal from you. So it's a cutthroat business. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button.